Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Go to the URL squarespace.com slash Mark Webster for 10% off your first order. What's going on everyone? We're back with another Premiere Pro tutorial for you guys. This one is going to be covering the John Olson super smooth zoom effect. Um, most of this is done by Benjamin Ortega, who's his editor, and it's super sweet and super easy as well. So I'm just going to play an example here from his I Got Kidnapped to My Birthday vlog um, so you can see what it looks like. So you guys saw that it went from a wide shot and zoomed into this tight shot of the helicopter pilot's headphones. Um, and it's super easy to do, and the best part is you don't need any crazy lens. Usually the kit lens will actually work best on your camera for this effect. So we're going to hop into Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how to do it. So this is the clip that we're working with. This was taken last weekend um, flying home from Vancouver. And basically all the shot is, is a wide shot. So I have a Sony a6300 and an 18 to 105 lens. So it's super good all around sort of travel lens. And what you do is you rock and zoom from the wide all the way into the middle and try and keep the camera as steady as possible. So I'm just gonna play the rock clip that I recorded. So as you can see, that is a shot, fairly basic, easy shot. It's nothing crazy, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to transform this into something that looks a lot better. So starting with this, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to stabilize it. Stabilizing will make the zoom in that we do after much more smooth. So I'm gonna hit Shift 7 to open up our effects, and then I'm just gonna search Warp Stabilizer and drag on Warp Stabilizer onto the clip. So another thing that uh, is important is that you can't actually remap a clip that has Warp Stabilizer on it. So what we're gonna need to do is do a nested sequence. So just gonna right click and hit nest and that's gonna create a compound clip over top. So I'm just gonna call this tutorial nest. And we're just going to give it one second just to analyze the video. Okay guys, so the stabilization has been completed for this clip. This is at 50% smoothness right now. So it's pretty smooth um, for the most part. Um, and I'm just going to turn that up to 75. And then hit preserve scale on the checkbox there. So this is quickly just going to stabilize. And this is going to make it a little bit more smooth. Um, that's really going to help the transition. All right, so we're back in our nested sequence here, and we have our keyframes on our left side. We have one as soon as it's zoomed in, and then one if we hop back right there. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to show our speed remapping. So we're going to add a keyframe right here. At the point that it's zoomed out. And then we're just going to drag the speed up all the way to a thousand percent because we want this to be as quick as possible. And just add that just like so. So now what our clip looks like is this. And that's pretty much the look that we're going for. If you guys want, you can add a little bit of motion blur. So in order to add motion blur in Premiere Pro, hit Shift 7 to bring up the effects. And then you're going to go into Video Effects. And then Distort. And then Transform. And if you drag that onto the clip, there's a section for Shutter Angle. You can make that 360 degrees and then deselect use composition shutter angle and then you'll just have to do a little bit of keyframing in order to get the super smooth zoom in just to give a little bit of natural motion blur which really enhances this effect. So if we replay this one more time for you guys, starts wide and zooms in just like that. 
So it's a super easy effect and you don't need any expensive camera gear to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for all the support and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, thank you to Squarespace for supporting this video. And they have great website builders if you're looking to build your online portfolio. I personally use it for my design portfolio. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's markwebsterdesign.com. Even if you need a domain or set up an online store for a clothing brand, Squarespace is the website builder that you need to use. So definitely go to squarespace.com forward slash markwebster for 10% off your first order.